Thank, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Chairman, and thank you, General McKenzie and General Townsend for being here. So, General McKenzie, President Biden recently announced his plans to withdraw all U.S. forces from Afghanistan no later than September 11th, 2021. That's going to mark our longest war ever. So, I just want to review what's happened just over the past decade and where we stand right now. General McKenzie, is it true that the Taliban has more members today than it did 10 years ago? Taliban has 50,000 or so members today. It, I would have to come back to you on where that stands compared to 10 years ago, Senator. Well, well I, I, actually, I think the number could be as high as 85,000, according to the Special Inspector General for Afghanistan Reconstruction. And that is almost triple what it was in 2011. You might want to go back and look at those numbers. And does the Taliban control more of Afghanistan than it did 10 years ago? Yes, it does, Senator. Yes. And does Pakistan or elements of the Pakistani government still provide support and sanctuary to the Taliban? We believe that elements of the Taliban are in Pakistan. Yes, Senator, we do. Uh, and is corruption in the Afghan government still endemic? The Afghan government has corruption, significant corruption. Yes. And after all this time and all this work to prop up and support the Afghan government, is it fair to say that Afghans still have little trust in their government and elections, just as they did 10 years ago? Senator, I defer to the Department of State for a better commentary on that. All right. I think if you check their commentary, they will say yes. The situation in Afghanistan has not improved in the last 10 years, even with our troops present. And it's clear there is little for us to be gained by a continued U.S. presence there. I strongly support President Biden's decision to withdraw U.S. troops. We should have learned by now that a conditions-based withdrawal is just a recipe for staying in Afghanistan forever. Defense officials have come before this committee year after year to proclaim that the U.S. has turned the corner in Afghanistan. But all I see is a vicious cycle that damages our nation's reputation abroad and keeps our troops in harm's way while producing little tangible benefit for our security. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. I yield the remainder of my time. 